Well, today in Tech Notes, this past week we received the first stunning images from the James Webb Space Telescope. For Tech Notes, we thought we'd talk about the tech that makes it all possible. First of all, why have space telescopes? One reason is the blurring effect of Earth's atmosphere. That's why many observatories, like the Subaru Telescope, are at high altitudes. Thirteen scopes are in Hawaii's Mauna Kea at 13,500 feet. I've had a chance to visit, and it's an amazing experience. The Webb Telescope is a fantastic achievement. It's in orbit about a million miles from Earth at a point called Lagrange 2. It's sort of a balanced spot in line with the Sun and Earth that keeps it in orbit. After 20 years in development, Webb was launched from French Guiana on Christmas Day last year on an Ariane rocket. It took months to fine-tune it, deploy its five-layer sun shield. The sun shield is the size of a tennis court. It protects the scope's delicate instruments from the light and heat of the sun. If you wear SPF 30 sunscreen, the Webb sun shield has an SPF of 1 million. The sun side has a temperature of 185 degrees above zero, while the protected side is about 400 degrees below zero. This allows the infrared camera to work at its peak performance. And and it took months for Webb to cool down to its operating temperature. The mirror on the Webb telescope is actually 18 gold-plated segments for a total area of about 21 and a half feet across. The Webb telescope doesn't duplicate the Hubble telescope. The Webb's design and infrared abilities allow it to look at older, fainter objects far in the universe. Well, you can learn more about our new space telescope at web.nasa.gov.